What up? What's good, brother? Hi, son. What's up? Well, as you can tell, it's a special day. Um, we've got some your your all your family here and your beautiful wife and and, and your, dad. your dad and your dad wants to tell you something. Well, we have a special book that we're gonna have read for you. Well, sit back and enjoy this really special story about a really special guy. Special guy. Puff, we're here today to share the story of a boy from Sacramento who changed the world. When Eric was a young boy, it was hard to look at him and not to think of the word big. Not only was he big in stature, but he had one of the biggest hearts. As a child, Eric loved tacos, football, rainy days, and helping to care for people. His parents prayed for him that one day he would go grow up and change the world. And that he did. Eric had a lot of support helping him along the way. Eric had two older brothers and one older sister. He dreamed of competing in faraway places on some of the biggest platforms. In fact, there was a time where we could not convince Eric that he wasn't a member of the Chicago Bulls, just like his idol, Michael Jordan. Still, Eric loved his hometown of Sacramento, and he wanted to be sure that every kid there received every opportunity, just like he and his siblings had. Eric wanted to play football like his older brother, but he also wanted to help people. When Eric was in high school, he was a dominant football player and leader on our campus. His love for education led him to his work to bring resources and opportunities to all students in the Sacramento community. Eric went on to be a two-sport athlete at the University of Oregon, playing in both football and basketball, played in the national championship game, and that led to him being drafted by his hometown team, the San Francisco 49ers. During his time in San Francisco, Eric has excelled on the field as one of the more dominant defensive linemen in the game, who plays the run and the pass equally as well. In the community, Eric's story time with Eric Armstead program is unparalleled in terms of his time and commitment to his hometown community. Eric has impressed us all with his leadership on and off the field. We're forever thankful for Eric Armstead and all he does to make our community and team better. Eric met his wife, Mindy, in 2016 and found their shared passion for enriching the community was common ground. Eric started the Armstead Academic Project and with the help of Mindy created a plan to give back with both purpose and measurable impact. Together they have held multiple community events, including a health fair which combined Eric's love for people and Mindy's focus on health care to serve over a thousand in the Sacramento area. When Eric and Mindy learned that they were welcoming a baby girl, they were excited to teach her the importance of helping a community rise together. Through this shared passion, they can't wait to show their daughter that serving others is far more important than serving oneself. It is their hope to raise a daughter with a servant's heart and a love for all people. This young man from Sacramento is changing the world from reading to kids at an early age to invigorate their love for education, to giving teens an opportunity, teaching them how to advance in this world, to educating the world on social justice issues and his many press conferences. Eric Armstead is this year's 49ers Walter Payton Man of the Year. Congratulations, Eric. Let's go. Deserve it, dude. We're so proud of you. I love you guys. Congrats. Thank you. You know, that's always something I've, uh, you know, you just keep trying to help people and, you know, to be, to be honored for that is, uh, Pretty amazing. The most important thing to me that you can do in your life is just kind of live for others and give back to others. So I'm proud of Eric for his on the field accomplishments because I know those things are really important to him. But I'm also, if I could say, even more proud as a mom. Um, for his big heart and, you know, just like I said, these are things that we all you talk about with your kids as parents, not just Eric, but all of our kids that whatever they did in life, that they would be big hearted and givers and lovers of people. So I just feel very proud to have a family that um, is like that. So I'm grateful and I'm, I'm really proud of you, son. And so keep up, keep up the good work and 
but we just as a here as a family to support you and to continue on the work. So thank you, mom. Love you. Can't do anything by myself, and you know I try to try to come up with ideas and find new ways to to uh, help. But obviously, I couldn't do any of that with you know without everyone on this call. So I really appreciate you guys' support and helping me. Um, and helping me help others. So it's, uh, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys as well. Yeah. 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 Let's go. <laughs>